We need to talk about our options here. Talk about what? The only people we should be talking to the police. Are you kidding? Do you understand the consequences of that? No one knows we're here. She's right. She's totally right. We've all touched it. Who's gonna believe we weren't involved? This is crazy. I can't believe we're hearing right now. Well, we can go to the police. But we're gonna need lawyers. And we're gonna need a really good story. It's not a story, it's the truth, Shivers. Shivers. No, no. The police will work at And that's not true, they make mistakes all the time. Innocent people go to prison. I don't want to go to prison for something I didn't do. I don't want to go to prison at all. Well then Blair, we need to figure out who did this. We're all in this together now, whether you like it or not. Do you really want your loved ones, everyone you care about, your friends, your family, they're all going to be impacted by this. We've got two options. We can go to the police and hope that they believe us, or... Or what? Or we dump the body. Stash the weapon and each go our separate ways and figure out exactly who did this. Look, she's right. No one knows that we're even here. But what if someone saw us? What if they what find, if they the, find body? the body? Look, this decision is going to impact us for the rest of our lives. Every relationship, every career we have, it's going to follow us. We need to take a vote on this. Than I remember. Come in. I've been cooking all afternoon. <laughs> Peanut butter, your favourite. Is everything okay, Sophie? Are you on drugs? No, Mum. No drugs. I just. I can't believe everything's still the same. Where's Julio? Honey, he died. A few years ago now. I wish you told me. I've kept your room the same. The shower upstairs runs hot and cold all the time, but you can use mine in my room. 
I was hoping you could stay for a while. I'm going to be cooking Daddy's favourite tomorrow night. Will you be home? Um, I have to go get ready. I hope I didn't upset you, love. No. Just a bit nervous. Will Grey be there? Um, I'm not sure. Fucking bitch, you actually came. Ten years. Ten years, fucking ear, fucking ears. <laughs> and you still haven't highlighted your hair, Sophie. Ah, nice to see you too. Can't believe Miss Sophie James is back in Irvine. Last I heard you were a prostitute in the city. But I knew celibate Sophie wouldn't be up to that. Sophie James and Shivers McGraw. That was green. You girls haven't changed one little bit. You look oh, great, how have you so been? Me. Oh, 10 years, I can't believe it. Look at you, you're beautiful. <laughs> so what have you been doing? What are you up to? I just work in the city, job, pretty boring, you know me. Oh, I doubt that. I'm sure you've got a really exciting career. <laughs> oh, I knew you'd be one of the first to leave Irvine and really make something of yourself. <sighs> I also oh. left Irvine. And came back because you couldn't hack it. I'm so excited to see you. <laughs> we get inside and have a drink with everybody and I'll catch up with you later. Okay. Oh, name cake. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> I swear, that bitch just misses me one more time. I'll kill her. I was a good student. No, you were not. I swear I was friends with everyone in my graduating class. She was, you had more enemies than you did friends. Oh. Drew and Tate are still best friends. Hmm. Well, some things never change. Thanks. So why did you move back to Irvine anyway? I mean, on God's earth are you missing from here? Shivers? Holy shit! Fucking duck, Sophie, your night's about to get really fucking awkward. Blair's here! Are you feeling sick to your stomach? Do you think that's his girlfriend? That's his wife! I'm sorry, that was super awkward. No, don't be silly. Sophie, this is Lily, my um, wife. Well, yeah, exactly. It's lovely to meet you, Sophie. Yeah, you too, Lily. Oh, wow, my gosh, your room is gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we, we just wanted something timeless and understated. Oh, yeah, well, it's, um, it's beautiful. Thank you. So, so, it's been so long. Um, what have you been up to? Oh, very Welcome home, stranger. Christian, why are you always watching me from behind? What's wrong? Have you broken the law, Miss McGraw? I don't think we should do this. You're gonna like it. Please stop. Please, I don't want the money anymore. I don't, I don't want this. You don't want this? Shivers, hello. Hey. You look like you've seen a ghost. 
um, that's how I feel. I have to, I have to go, um, but it was really, really good to see you. Okay, talk to you soon. Okay, bye. Who was that? Oh, it's just a neighbour looking after my cat. Is that her boyfriend? No. Well, I'll be. The girl is back in town. I'm back. Not for long, just for a few days. And how have you been? Oh, you want to catch up on 10 years? Right now. Well, not really. But I thought it would be polite to ask. Hey, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Welcome home, sir. It's good to see you around here again. So, how long is the prom day runaway in town for? Excuse me? You heard me. What the fuck? Um, I'm just back for a few days and then I'm going back to the city. Alice, are you mouthing up with Sophie again? Back the fuck off. Oh, nice nose ring. Do you want to be a Madden brother? Is that it? Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> Come on, it's our high school reunion. Can't we just enjoy the night and not bring old fights to the table? Speaking of old habits, I see you still have a drink in your hand, Shivers. Tate, go get laid. Hey, I'm just saying, nothing's changed. You're still an alcoholic. Tate does have a point. Always taking his side, Drew. You two should get married. You were named after a famous bottle of scotch for fuck's sake. Class <laughs> of 2006. Good evening. I just firstly like to thank you all for coming this evening. I know some of you travelled great distances to be here and some of you could walk. Anyway, um, I'm sorry to start the evening on a sad note. Um, but I've had word from Malcolm McCauley's mother that he was actually killed in a car accident on Tuesday. When I was 14, I came home and heard my parents talking about me, about how I had no friends. The next week they brought me a fucking puppy. I didn't want to love it. How come? Because it reminded me of why they bought it for me. Because I had no friends. Every time I bought the shovel left, bash its fucking head in. I couldn't do it. Why not? Because I realised why they bought it for me. Because they love me. It wasn't just that they love me, they wanted me to see something else love me in return. I swear to God, if she's killed him. You don't know anything just yet. Wait until you know for sure. And then what? He was really looking forward to coming this evening, so I'm sure he'd like it if you all had a drink in his memory and still enjoyed the evening. Um, with that being said, eat, drink, and if anybody does want to catch up with me, just look for the half-cut old duck in the back corner. <sighs> Alone. Cheers. What the fuck? How did that happen? No one knows. They say it was speeding, but he wasn't even driving. Who was? They don't know. Blair, did you know about this? No, it's the first I heard. I would have thought my parents would have said something. It's such a shame, especially after what happened to his father. Wait, why haven't his father? Well, Sophie, you really have been out of the loop. Sophie, Malcolm's father went missing about two weeks ago. What? What has happened to this town? Well, they say everyone dies famous in a small town. Whatever that means. Well, Chevis, it means that everyone knows everyone. Every grandmother, in-law, ex-girlfriend knows you just a little too well. The Miranda Lambert lyrics. She's been listening to country music getting prepared for a visit out here. 
I think we should do something to remember Malcolm. I still don't understand what this Melinda Hamburg has to do with this. Yeah, it's Miranda Lambert. Uh-huh. Hey, yeah, what should we do to remember him, guys? Drag race? <laughs> <laughs> Tight, come on. I'll drink to that. No, I think we should go to Malcolm's parents' cabin. I mean, that's where all, all of our memories are. Sneaking out, going over there on the weekend, sleepovers. I mean, it's a bit late, but it's a really good way to remember high school. And Malcolm. Yeah, but you're forgetting one thing. There is free booze here, and I'm in heels. I'm not traipsing through the jungle in heels. No, 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 no. I think we should. I owe it to him. Uh, to remember it. Yeah. And I didn't come all the way to the forest not to do a bit of mountain climbing. You have literally never been out of the city, have you? There's no mountain climbing, but you will have to get your heels wet. Get my heels wet. The cabin's on a small island pile in the middle of the river. It's beautiful though, you'll love it. No, it's beautiful. It's so peaceful over there. But it's a, a building on an island in a river. Think of it as New York City. We'll have a night you'll never forget. To the next 10 years. To the next 10 years! Stay for a little bit. No! I'm going home. This has to end. Why'd you come back for it? It's so good in the city. I came back to end it. End the emails, end the threats, end the calls, end the fucked up shit that you called a relationship. You didn't like what we had? I was 14. I didn't know what I liked.
swear to God if she's killed him. You don't know anything just yet. When do you know for sure? And then what? And then confront Shivers. But at the moment you've got no concrete evidence, so there's nothing you can do. For six years that bitch tormented me through high school. The second she gets back to Irvine, my dog gets poisoned, and my dad goes missing. I swear to God if she's killed him. I'll kill her myself. Blood. Is she dead? I don't know. I just woke up and her eyes were staring at me. I slept next to her the whole night. Someone must have snuck in. I fucking attacked her right next to me. Don't you think I would have Guys, guys! Up? She's dead. Yeah, thanks for the weather report, mate, but it's not going to help us right now. That's not what I mean, okay? The water's too high, no one can get on or off this island. Which means, no one could have got in this cabin last night. What? What are you saying? Someone in this cabin killed Alice last night. You 